So, summertime here in the UK. It is beautiful, but for the last few days it has been absolutely blowing a gale, which has meant a lot of the smaller stuff that I want to review and look at, I can't do because it's just too crazy windy. But one thing that has turned up is these new Emacs RS2 motors. Now, one thing that I didn't like about the Emacs Hawk 5, and there's a lot to like about that quad, it really is great, um, was the motors. I found them to be lacking torque. Um, Emacs did quite a clever thing with the prop that they chose to pair with that. Um, I think those props, the Avan props, were really good, and they definitely make up for some of what's missing with those motors, but as soon as you put a GoPro on top, that's when those torque limits are reached. And also putting those heavy pitch props, uh, the other downside was, uh, you know, you don't get something for nothing. It was pulling a lot of current, so it was, it was taking the battery out pretty quickly. So these new RS uh, race spec motors, they're quite expensive. Uh, funnily enough, they're actually lighter than the light series motor by a couple of grams, although some of that is in the wire weight. I don't, I don't know why on the light series they use such a thick gauge of wire definitely wasn't needed but either way I've loaded those into the Hawk 5 um, these are a 2306 2400 kV which is much more in the ballpark of the kind of thing I'm expecting and the kind of thing I want out of a freestyle quad and has that bottom end grunt that you need when especially when you're uh, in a falling maneuver and you just want to be able to stop it uh, dead um, and I've also just because I think it's a better match I'm going to go with a prop that I know really well and that I love and that I use on my arc on a much heavier quad um, and gives me great results not only in efficiency but power which are the uh, V1S 5x3x4.8 um, those have been fantastic props really liking those at the minute so I've got those loaded on these new RS Emax motors they're in the Hawk 5 let's go see how it does Given the windy conditions, it was a bit of a struggle. It was getting buffeted a lot. There's a lot of turbulence around those trees, especially with the gusts. But I definitely noticed the difference over the light series motor. There wasn't that problem with the bottom end in terms of having that instant torque that was definitely missing on the uh, 2206 light series motors. So for me, if you've got a Emax Hawk 5 and you are thinking I'm kind of want to upgrade it and I want to get it to that next level um, that's really the missing thing I think those motors uh, work really well on it um, that really brings it into its own the power was good throughout the range it had the bottom end torque that I really miss if it's not there uh, especially for the way I freestyle 
and more importantly if this is a quad that you want to use for freestyle and you want to carry a GoPro on top then it's a real must because I think you're just gonna you're gonna run out bottom end on those light series motors if however you're just racing that thing you're only ever capturing DVR footage I don't really think it's gonna matter I think you can probably stick with a light series motor as I have said to other people um, previously about the Hawk 5 it really is so well balanced for what you get straight out of the box but if you want more out of it because uh, it is a great frame and you're thinking about doing some upgrades those new race spec motors work really well I'm very impressed I actually prefer those to the white series which were the last ones that they had out now those were a 2306 as well 2400 kV and I just couldn't get on with them I didn't feel connected to them I couldn't really find a prop that kind of worked well and matched well with it I tried them on a few different quads I couldn't really put my finger on it to be honest with you but they just didn't work out for me but I know a lot of people did love those motors um, the ones before those and the ones before those I've had pretty much all of the race series motors I did like so it was only the white series that I didn't really get on with now these are in that price bracket they're pretty high um, and there are you know it's, it's dangerous getting into that territory when you've got companies like brother hobby kicking around who make absolutely awesome motors for that kind of money and really it's going to take a little bit more of a longevity test for me to see how the bearings hold up and just the general wear and tear from experience emax motors they don't shed bells they don't split uh shafts they and they don't throw pins they tend to be really solidly built so I think they'll probably follow suit and they'll be great but obviously I can't comment on that until I've had them on there for a while and I've crashed them a bunch um, but so far so good I'm actually pretty impressed with them and there is absolutely a noticeable difference over the light series motor so those are my thoughts another thing I'm thinking of is now that we've got this Emacs set up where it's kind of perfect for freestyle nicely nice amount of power good torque we're going to use this as our main quad to talk about freestyle some of the stuff I do, I'll break down some of the moves I do and my approach to freestyle, what I'm doing on the sticks, all that stuff. So if you're interested in that, drop me a comment and let me know. Um, I have did the, originally the Acro School series and I'm about to start picking that up again and we're going to be using this model as an example because it's one I know a lot of people have out there and it's a real kind of good average weight all up with the GoPro and a 1500 milliamp battery of about 550 grams. So it's going to make a great example uh, to start doing these flight tutorial videos. But yeah, lots more on the way. Thanks for sticking around, those of you that have. And uh, yeah, let's get on with it.